everyone, Leanne here from Kingdom Bloggers. So today we're going to talk about how to figure out what your target audience is searching for online. So you've probably gone through my target audience mini course, you know, how to figure out who your avatar is, who, who it is you're trying to reach with your blog, and also my SEO uh, tutorials, like how to do basic keyword research to figure out the best keyword to use and how to write the content for that keyword and all of that. Um, but I've been getting a lot of um, people reaching out saying, but how do we figure out what I should be doing keyword research on, right? Like I know who my target audience is, and now I understand how to do keyword research, but I'm still not sure what kind of topics my person, my audience is actually Googling. So we're going to try to kind of break that down to you today, and I promise it's not super difficult. I do want to mention there is going to be a follow-on video to this about doing competitor research, because that's kind of going to take a lot of the guesswork out of it, but I want to do that in a separate video because it's a little more intensive than what we're going to talk about today. So how do you figure out what your target audience is looking for? Well, the most important thing to remember is what your ministry is wanting to offer. Are you a ministry that's offering Bible, like to resources to help someone better learn the Bible? So what I call a Bible study ministry, or are you more kind of mixing the Bible, learning the Bible with more of the spiritual growth, like how to apply it to your life and how to lean on God through your season? This is kind of what I would consider maybe a Christian mom blog. So spiritual nourishment for the mom, along with probably some other maybe non-Christian specific queries, such as, you know, resources for moms and things like that. So you merge kind of the two together. But at the end of the day, many of the biblical um, Bible specific type queries, how to study the Bible, um, who was Ruth in the Bible, things like that. That's what I what I call kind of evergreen in that I, as a 50 year old woman, might search that exact query, but a 30 year old man might search that query, right? And so, you know, when it comes to biblical specific content, really that kind of knows no, no, no demographic, like everyone searches the same queries in that manner. And so in those situations, how you would write it, the resources you offer within and the perspective that you give is going to be more tailored to your target audience, even though it's a, what I call an evergreen type query. But let's go beyond that. Let's say you are trying to encourage and equip young Christian women uh, to grow stronger in their faith and learn how to apply Godly principles to their life um, or something like that, right? So what is, what is she looking for? Well, probably some of those evergreen things, how to study the Bible, some Bible study resources, things like that. Um, but also maybe things like, you know, what, what does the Bible say about singleness, um, Christian dating type queries, um, you know, let's see, how to deal with things like gossip in, in you know, amongst secular friends, things like that. And so again, it's, it's not so much about the keyword research per se, but it's more about the type of queries that your person is looking for specifically correlated to what you are wanting to offer them. Now, let's flip the script to a Christian mom blog, right? So you're wanting to offer spiritual encouragement, um, tips to help young mothers, you know, get more time in the word, even though they have like toddlers and things like that. And so again, um, simple Bible study or effective Bible study methods, tips, resources um, to study the Bible, things like that. But then you could also offer things that maybe aren't quite Christian, so they're more of a secular type search, which is resources for the mom of these young kids. So maybe you're offering some spiritual nourishment, but maybe you're also just offering, you know, organization productivity tips to help this young mother stay organized um, with her young children, and maybe she's a homemaker and things like that. And so again, what you're wanting to offer to your target audience. And honestly, if you're struggling with this part of it, I would probably suggest for you to narrow three specific categories and start with that. So let's say you wanted to have a Bible study, 
um, and then maybe motherhood, and then maybe um, Christian parenting, biblical parenting, something like that. And so in the Bible study, you could offer, you know, Bible study resources and then begin doing keyword research on that kind of stuff. What are the resources? So don't just keyword research Bible study resources. Think of all the resources you could offer. Prayer journals, um, Bible study worksheets, um, devotionals, things like that, right? So use the category to start generating ideas of things that go in that category and then do your keyword research for that. For the motherhood, I mean, something as simple as Bible verses about motherhood, right? Um, if I was needing some biblical encouragement, that's probably what I would, would Google. Um, other things related to motherhood, I mean, there's devotionals, there's prayers for mothers, there's all kinds of things. And these are things that the young mother might be looking for when it comes to Christian parenting or biblical parenting. Resources to help the mom pour into her child, right? Maybe she's not a Sunday school teacher. She needs resources that are already made. So, you know, Christian, uh, or I'm sorry, biblical games for kids, um, Bible study resources for children, Bible study printables for children. Those are all the kinds of things that this young mother might need or want, but it still ties into what you're trying to offer her through your ministry. So I could give a lot of, of different examples, um, and we could be here all day um, because there's so many. I guess it's a fine or infinite number of examples or um, kinds of target audience slash ministry combinations. But I hope this is kind of helping you better understand um, the direction that you should begin. So again, if you're completely lost on this, just figure out who you want to help and what do you want to help them with, and then from that, come up with three specific separate but somewhat related categories so in this case it was bible study motherhood and parent uh, biblical parenting or christian parenting so they're very in they're very distinct what goes in one should not go into any of the other two but they all still work together homemaking maybe that's a category that you would have right and so the kinds of things that uh, a woman who is being a homemaker what kinds of things would she be looking for online to help her in the homemaking process, right? Or in her routine and things like that. And so I hope this was helpful. Um, the thing with blogging, nothing is a black and white answer. I mean, there's probably a few things, but for the most part, a lot of the questions I get asked, I often feel like once I answer it, people walk away leaving, well, that didn't help. But it's not a black and white thing that we're doing. It's diving into kind of the minds of the people we're trying to help, but truly understanding what your ministry wants to offer, right? If you say I want to offer encouragement to women, that's kind of too broad because what encourages me might not encourage someone else, right? It's more about the specific ways you're going to encourage them, Um but more importantly, that they're searching for those ways. You can, you can, you know, come up with things to encourage people all day long. But at the end of the day, if no one's searching for it, no one's going to find it. And so nobody's going to be encouraged by it, right? And so just really get kind of detailed out in what your ministry wants to offer. Now, before I end this, I do want to say, because I've had this question quite a bit. Well, Leanne, if you're teaching all of us here, you know, there's thousands probably a couple of thousand right now between my Facebook groups, my courses, and those that I'm able to reach through my ministry. How will we run out of, like, will we all be competing against each other? Because you're kind of teaching all of us and we want to offer the same thing. Well, number one, there's like billions of people on the earth, right? Who are all on Google looking for stuff. So, you know, how each individual person types in their query is going to vary. And so also the exact thing that they're typing in is going to vary. So while we, you know, a million people may be typing in uh, how, to, how to study the Bible for beginners, right? So all, you know, 2,000 of us won't rank on page one for that. But the other kinds of content, you know, if you're trying to reach mothers, if you're trying to reach singles, if you're maybe pouring into men. I, I mention women a lot, and I do apologize, gentlemen, for those of you who are following me. I know I have men who. Uh, are, are a part of my Facebook group and who follow my tips and stuff. So I don't want to exclude you. It's just the majority of those in my ministry tend to be women. And so that's 
because I'm a woman, I tend to say ladies, so I do apologize for that. But we need more men, by the way. We need more men to step up and take on this digital discipleship. But the specific things, you know, that men deal with, that women deal with, that young women deal with, that, you know, me, my kids are all adults now. So the things that I'm dealing with, the things that I'm um, exposed to versus, say, a young mother or someone who's a little more sheltered in their life or maybe someone who's brand new to the faith or maybe they're thinking about um, joining the family, right? What kind of questions would they have? So. I guess the, what I'm trying to say is, yes, technically we're all competing with each other, but we're not. We are competing with the enemy online, and there is enough space in the online realm for all of us to take what we have to offer. And God's going to lead you in that direction as well. I, I should have prefaced with that. We're not all trying to send out the same exact class. The same Bible study class. Oh, my neighbor across the street with his hot rod just zoomed up in his muffler slot. So if y'all hear that in the background, it's not my car. Um, so there will never run out of topics, but you just have to get creative and you also have to truly sit down to find the who. You can't, we're, we're not here as Christians, we want to minister to everyone. We're here to evangelize the world. But in this realm, we have to we have to bring it in. Who is it that God is asking us to speak to? Who is that God asking you to speak to? Who? Not all, not all the people. There's one person out there, one very specific, you know, age, gender, demographic, whatever you want to call it. And that's who he's calling you to pour into and try to reach through the internet. So once you identify that person and what you want to offer that person, Start with your three categories. Don't go beyond three categories right now and use those three categories to start coming up with the ideas of things they might be searching for that fall into those very specific categories. OK, I know I kind of repeat myself a lot, but those things are very, very important. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to someone. Um, if I've totally confused you, just let me know and I will try to clarify it in another way. Um, but ultimately, this is going to be the building block for your ministry and all of the fruit that you're hoping to um, bring from it. So, all right, guys, as always, uh, please like this video. Um, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment or hop over to my Facebook group. That link is below as well. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.